So your max afterburner, 42,000 pounds of thrust. Yeah. Here comes 150. Okay, gear up. Gear up. And you notice the stick is just a little bit light. Oh, yeah. And it's it's not like the aircraft, but yeah. the flying qualities is like the yeah. aircraft. There you go. Okay. Let's just make a little aerobatics here and maybe then try the weapon systems. I, I, I already saw quite well how the wep weapon system, how the, ra the radar works. Where's the airfield there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's the G limit for F-35? 7 Gs right after takeoff and then okay. soon you're up to 9 Gs. That's carrying two bombs. Yeah. In the F-16, when you carry bombs, you're limited to 5.5 Gs. Okay. So now we are a 9G jet, even combat loaded. Okay. Do I have my own radar on, or, or is it just radar passing? is always on unless you decide that you want to turn it off. Okay. And you see it here on this one display, your tactical situation display. Yeah. Unlike legacy airplanes, we don't have a dedicated air-to-air -air radar page. It's okay. all seen here. And here, when you put your cursor on it, yeah. So with what's your, this? What what was the cursor? So uh, that's, that's this pizza one. Pan, right? Okay, pizza pan. Yeah. This is the same same as on F-18. And what was the designation? F-18 is right here. So you look here. In yeah. this box, once you get your cursor on, and then just take your thumb off. Okay. To designate, you take this switch and you flick it up quickly and release. There you go. So okay. now you have that selected. We yeah. would normally see a box appear here, an mm -hmm. expanded data window, and sometimes it'll pop up. It should be there all the time. And it will tell you what contributors. Do you have a radar contributor? Do you have an infrared contributor? Do you have ESM? Is his radar radiating and we're picking those sources up? Okay. Okay, okay it's giving the shoot cool. Uh, what is the uh, range of no escape? Is it this uh, bottom of this, this range indicator? Yeah, okay. Yeah. This is telling you if the bandit maneuvers more than 60 degrees that your missile may not intercept. Okay. This yeah. is here is the amount of closure knots. This is telling you at 24 miles is when your missile will be on its own and you can turn away. Okay. Weapons quality 5 here tells you that you have a radar lock and that you are you have the highest um, probability of supporting that missile. Okay. okay. Looking at the so. missile information, you're 33 miles away. That's his airspeed and lock. His altitude is 35,000. You're currently at 37,000. There's the shoot cue. Yeah. And we use the pickle button to shoot missiles and drop bombs. Okay. And the trigger is for guns, is it so? Only for guns. Okay. okay. Here you can see your target coming into view on yeah. your uh, forward-looking infrared telescope, if you will. Okay. And when you're ready, notice he has not locked you up. We get indications when he locks you up, and this yeah. is totally unclassified. And, but you could have shot him well outside 40 nautical miles. Yeah. yeah. And that's where the fight's going to happen. Hopefully, it'll be long range where mm -hmm. they don't even see us coming. Yeah. Okay, now it's no escape. Fox one. Hold, hold, it, hold it down for greater than for a second. Okay. There we go. It's flashing. Out goes oh. your missile. Okay, I think I hit. <laughs> You're doing a loop. Yeah. Just so keep get, getting the energy. And then looking for next 
target. Is it that one? No. Oops. I'm a bit low on speed. <laughs> yeah, so just leave your yeah. nose down. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh. Couple of victory rolls <laughs> for your two kills. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what else can we do with this thing? <laughs> Can I go land? Yeah, why not? Nice. <laughs> okay. Slow enough. <laughs> What are these uh, green zones here? Those are where think. you can take a picture of the ground with your SAR map. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's why they became smaller when I landed. Because of speed. So when you have yeah. less speed, it can't generate the map. It doesn't